Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Nidhi Taneja. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the second of November. Indian President Pranab Mukherjee holds talks with Nepalese counterpart in Kathmandu. Fire in India's capital city kills three, injures ten. Pakistan paying no attention to human rights situation in Balochistan, alleges activists. And now for all the details. Heavy firing and shelling by Pakistan forces on civilian settlements and infiltration bids by militants have forced the schools along the border in Jammu and Kashmir to remain shut. Studies of children have been severely affected. Following the continued shelling from Pakistan, which has resulted in the loss of lives, the government has ordered shutting down of over 100 schools along the international border and line of control in Jammu and Kashmir province. Thousands of civilians have been rehabilitated due to the cross-border firing. Children have been put out of schools. Pakistan has been targeting Indian army posts and civilian areas, ratcheting up tensions between the two nuclear armed neighbors. Reportedly, Indian border security force destroyed 14 posts manned by Pakistani rangers at the international border in retaliation to killing of seven people, including three women and two children, on Indian side of the line of control or LOC on Tuesday. There has also been an increase in the incidence of militants trying to infiltrate over to the Indian side. Staying on news from India, in an unfortunate incident, a massive fire broke out at a residential building in national capital New Delhi, killing at least three and injuring several. The fire broke out in the parking area of a residential building on the ground floor in Mohan Park area of northeast Delhi's Shahadra region. It then spread rapidly to other floors in the four-story building. Firefighters immediately rushed to the spot and rescued nearly 10 people from the building. Officials said the fire had been doused and the situation was under control. It is a matter of investigation. It is up on the floor. There are some of the damage in there. Some of the burn injury in the chakkar. There are 7-8 casualties and 7-8 people who have been killed. They have been killed by our children. They have been killed by the first time they have jumped. The cause of the fire was not known immediately. However, eyewitnesses' accounts pointed to a short circuit as electric rickshaws were being charged in the parking lot. Indian President Pranam Mukherjee on Wednesday kicked off his three-day state visit to Nepal to deepen bilateral relations. He is the first President of India to visit the Himalayan nation in 18 years. Indian 
Indian President Pranam Mukherjee received a warm reception in Kathmandu and was accorded a guard of honor in the presence of Nepalese President Bidya Devi Bhandari. Both the leaders held a delegation level bilateral meeting on issues of mutual interest. Nepal announced a public holiday on Wednesday in honor of the visiting Indian President. President Mukherjee is on a three-day visit to the Himalayan nation where he is scheduled to meet the country's top leadership and visit iconic sites. Meanwhile, on the sports front, a farmer's son in India's northern Punjab province made it big by becoming the second Indian-born basketball player to be picked in America's Premier Basketball Association. Six feet nine inches, 200 pounds power forward, Rar has great speed and an ability to shoot from long range. Family of Palpreet Singh Brar in India's northern Punjab province are elated as their son entered America's premier national basketball association or NBA league. The 21-year-old has become the second Indian to be selected in the development or D-league, the NBA's official minor league. An Indian farmer's son Brar was picked up by the newly formed Long Island Nets an affiliate team of NBA outfit Brooklyn Nets. बचपन में ऐसा है कि हम खेत में काम करने वाले आदमी थे एक साधारण किसान परिवार का है हमारा तो हमारे साथ वो जिस तरह वो पढ़ रहा पढ़ाई कर रहा था तो उसके साथ साथ वो हमारे साथ काम खेत में भी काम करता था तो उस वक्त ही उसका लगता था कि उसकी फजीक उसकी जो वो सारी सटरेंस उसके हिसाब से लगता था कि वो एक दिन कुछ न कुछ करेगा तो ये नहीं से था हम जे हमें कि वो बास्केटबॉल में करेगा कि किसी भी लाइन में किसी भी फील्ड में चल जाए तो कुछ न कुछ करेगा वो। ब्रार वाज वन ऑफ़ द थ्री इंडियंस अमंग 182 शॉर्टलिस्टेड फॉर द 2016 डी लीग ड्राफ्ट अलोंग अमजोत सिंग एंड अमृत पाल सिंग। लास्ट ईयर सतनाम सिंग भमारा � when the Dallas Mavericks used the 52nd pick on the 7-foot, 2-inch center. Despite being a resource-rich region, Pakistani establishment continues to deliberately keep the southwestern Balochistan province poor. Deprived of basic human rights, people live under worst conditions for survival, and those who raise their voices against the federal government are subsequently crushed. People of southwestern Balochistan province for decades have been victims of human rights violations meted on them by the Pakistani establishment. The long-standing history of nepotism and apathetic attitude still continues, though Baloch activists across the globe have been highlighting the issues of atrocities on its people by Pakistan, Islamabad seems to be least deterred. Brute force is being used by the Pakistani army on those who raise their voices to highlight the plight of the Baloch people. Pakistan has a really big problem, namely that it is using terror-style methods to suppress minority nations and peoples. Um, Pakistan deserves respect when it respects the human rights of others. And right now, all across the country, different suppressed peoples and communities are under attack. Pro-Baloch activists from across the globe have also expressed concerns over the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor or CPEC which they claim is an exploitation of the region's rich natural resources. Quite clearly we have two repressive regimes, China and Pakistan working together. Um, they are not paying regard to the human rights, welfare and economic needs of the people in Balochistan. Um, it is one of the most impoverished regions in the world. It is rich in oil, gas and minerals, yet the people there in many cases don't have safe clean drinking water. There are no proper schools. Protests have been held in different parts of the world by pro-Baloch and human rights activists to draw international attention towards the issues. The Indian Air Force or IAF showcased a spectacular aerobatic display on Wednesday on the occasion of its 84th anniversary in northern Lucknow city. 
With the display, IEF aims to motivate the youth of the region to join the force. Junior Warrant Officer S. N. Mandal. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you to take your attention to your front for the final fly pass for the day. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. Indian President Pranam Mukherjee holds talks with Nepalese counterpart in Kathmandu. Fire in India's capital city kills three in just ten. And Pakistan paying no attention to human rights situation in Balochistan, alleges activist. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.